So, Tom, for Spider-Man, you got to reunite with two other yes, Spideys. Of course. How yeah. did that uh, reunion come about? I think it was an interesting experience, you know. I think, for me, I was very nervous about the whole thing because, you know, it, when you play a character like Spider-Man for such a long period of time, you do have a certain sense of ownership over the character, right. you know. And Toby, Andrew, and I are all kind of... all have our, you know, equal rights to, to the Spider-Man sort of mantle. And I was just very nervous that we wouldn't get along. We didn't really know each other particularly very well before the film. And I was, you know, delighted to say that when we finally got together and we were on set and we were all in our suits, it was like we were, like, brothers separated at birth. <laughs> because we've all been through something that's so unique. But did you think they were going to be possessive about the character? Yeah, there was an element of that that I was worried about, but it was, it was the complete Well, opposite. Toby Maguire's a known <laughs> possessive person. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's lovely. We used to call him T. McG. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's lovely, and they're both lovely. I mean, for me to share that with them, you know, being Spider-Man, while it is an incredible opportunity, can be quite alienating because, you know, I, you know, at the time, you're the only person in the world doing it, and you're a 19-year-old kid. Yeah. So to almost have older brothers in your world was really exciting. And, and do you rub that in? Do you remind them that they are much significantly older than you? <laughs> yes, and that's why if you see the film, they're talking about their bad back and yeah. they're stretching for <laughs> the <laughs> battle and my character is bouncing back from yeah, the rooftop. All the aches and pains of being Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider exactly. <laughs>